All right, it looks like it's that time again. What time is it? It's time to go hunting for a new grant. Something, hopefully, that we can um, easily accomplish in a short period of time. I actually really like this governmental security ratings one. $15,000 advance, 15000 completion bonus. That's pretty sweet, not too hard to do. Uh, we'll just need to probably do some bureaucracy research. So let's grab that, give ourselves some extra money, and go on over to bureaucracy and see what we need to do to complete that. So we need dogs, and we need an armory. Uh, I believe that's pretty much it, though. Once we get those things, we should be able to build armory and... Uh, Get some armed armed guards in here. Get some dogs in here, and uh, we'll get another cool fifteen thousand dollars. That will be very nice. Go ahead and hit the fast forward button since things seem to be going pretty smoothly. Um, Thirty one out of fifty two, so we got plenty of capacity. Ooh, ooh, who, who requires medical attention? Did I miss? How did I miss that? Mm, let's have a look here. Oh yeah, I think that I think that was something that happened just a little while ago, and he hasn't quite been um, healed yet because the doctors are lazy assholes. So not going to worry about that too much. Going to get this out of the way. Uh, it seems like every time you start the game, they they put the CEO's letter up. It's like the little tutorial uh, message, but happens every time you start the game. Kind of annoying, but not a big deal. Going to check in on the progress of our class oh really we have one prisoner interested in the foundation education program is that we these blocks okay so the blocks are, are guys that are in it right now I do believe it's a little bit vague but I believe that's what the interface mean and the one interested is probably someone who's gonna come in tomorrow but still you know, I really wish we had more people who were doing this class. It's going to take quite a while to do this education reform grant, I believe. Which is unfortunate because it's uh, another $20,000. But from my past experience with other games of Prison Architect, that's just, there's not a whole lot you can do about that. It, it usually takes a long time. I'm going to go take a look at my power station here. Yeah, we probably got enough. Probably got enough power for a while. It's not too bad. Something I think we might want to do while everyone is asleep, everyone is in the rooms, I think it might be time to do a shakedown. This is going to show us any of the prisoners who are misbehaving by building tunnels, anyone who's tried to, uh, you know, take something to shank someone else. So they love the steel spoons. I have no idea why, but. But by far the most common item that's stolen in this game is the lowly spoon. Uh, it's not even used for digging. You might think maybe, maybe they would use it for digging. But no, actually, uh, well, actually, maybe that is what they use it for. I know when they, when they have a tunnel built, you see a little, uh, like, garden trowel symbol. But uh, I, I've never really understood if that was um, the tunnels were done by spoons or if there was some sort of garden thing that they're getting a hold of or what have you. Uh, but so far, actually, it looks like these guys don't have anything too crazy. Uh, I'm surprised not. I'm surprised not to see any tunnels at all so far, and we're already about halfway through a shakedown. Uh, we did get some narcotics. Well, okay, medicine mm, in quotes. Did get some booze, but no tunnels. Um, so these are actually some surprisingly well-behaved prisoners, I hesitate to say. Let's see. And, and it's actually not pissing them off too much. So sometimes a shakedown really pisses your prisoners off, but in this case it doesn't look like it's anything too severe. So that's good news that we don't have any prisoners who are uh, misbehaving too badly, trying to, to escape at the moment. <sighs> Why has this guy not been attended to? Doctor, they're just not going to do it by themselves, I guess. So I was in the doctor over there to make sure Jack Rowe doesn't slowly bleed out from his injuries, although I'm not sure why I would be too concerned 
if he did. You know, this game really makes you an asshole. It really does. You just, you know, which I think is kind of important. <laughs> but yes, you, you definitely uh, find yourself not really giving too much of a shit about your prisoners. Like these guys. These guys, they're all in solitary. They can't sleep in there, apparently. Can't sleep on the floor, I guess. But I don't, I don't really give a shit. I mean, they were, they were being assholes, so whatever. You know, they made their bed, now they can lie in it. So it looks like our armory is almost done, which means we should probably think about where we're going to put it. And it just so happens that we do have an empty room in the minimum security area. So I'm thinking, I'm thinking that's a pretty good place to put an armory. So let's have a look here. Rooms. Can we actually put the armory in without it being unlocked? Probably not. All right, so let's hit the fast forward. Let's wait a couple seconds here for our armory to get unlocked. And while we're doing that, we can actually put in some of the things we're going to need. Uh, we are going to need some dog crates. Which what direction is like out on these? That way, I assume, because you need those for your dog handlers. It limits how many dog handlers you can have. We're going to need some guard lockers because that uh, limits how many armed guards you can have. Although actually, we don't really need that many. We're just doing this for the money. And okay, so we got our lockers. We got our dog kennels. Anything that's missing in here? I believe. Actually, I'm wrong. I thought the um, the guard locker and the weapon rack were similar, but actually they're different. All right. So put in a weapon rack, and we're we're done. Well, we're done with building the armory at the very least. So that means we're going to want some some uh, armed guards and some dog handlers. Now the dog handlers, uh, generally you're going to use those to um, sort of patrol your exterior area. Uh, and at least that's what I use them for. And, and in my experience they're actually kind of buggy at the moment, so you know, they might not actually work all that well. But we will put two, two in here. Not one dog handler. Two dog handler. And we'll assign them to a patrol. Alright, so we got that taken care of. And armed guards. We will put one here and one here. And put them on a armed patrol. Just to keep the prisoners, you know, fear God in them. Alright. Bam. Now we are feeling pretty rich. And we can go look for another grant. Uh, I don't think, though, I think this is, we're, we're getting to the point where the the easy grants are just about um just about gone uh and actually this might be a, a fine time to embark on one of the potentially more dangerous ones which is inmate nutrition research now um nutrition research probably doesn't sound too dangerous you know does it it sounds fine but the problem the problem is you have to serve to do this you have to serve two days of a single low quantity low variety meal okay and that makes your prisoners very very unhappy because they're not getting fed I mean it's understandable I suppose so let's go to our regime do low low and we're gonna get rid of that there we go get rid of the second meal time Let's put in some free time. And we're off. It's actually good we got the uh, dog handlers and the uh, armed guards beforehand because 
this can easily uh, sort of spiral out of control, so you're going to want lots of guards on hand just in case anything goes south. All right, looks like we've got a new batch of prisoners. We got uh, Cook Gone Rogue. He thought the apocalypse was happening when he was caught during the 2014 zombie walk in Vancouver, BC. He slayed 20 zombies before being apprehended by officers. 38 years old. Uh, and apparently, although he did slay 20 zombies, I assume being people, he only actually got convicted of armed robbery, so I assume he stole the sword. Nonetheless, he's a high security prisoner, um, which we don't really have capacity for, uh, but, you know, we'll make do, we'll make do. Uh, we do have fences, and we have dogs, so that's that's good. Now, um, in the in the upper area of the screen here, you're going to see, this, this is the danger level, and I expect that's going to be increasing all day. Because as said, the prisoners are going to become very unhappy with their lack of food. Why did the weapon rack not get put in here? Um, I don't know. That's Oh, because it was in the wall? That's weird. I'm not sure how that happened. That is the weapon rack, and it got put in the wall somehow. Uh, yeah, I hope that the prisoner can't, like, actually, um, grab those weapons. Well, whatever the case, we're going to, oh, oh my god, that guy's a mutant. He's, like, went through all the walls. Oh, that's crazy. Okay. Yeah, they probably, I'm, I'm gonna hope that they don't, they don't have access to that. But maybe just in case, um, go send a guard over here. Um, look around. See what's going on. Yeah, it looks like we're good. Nothing in there but shit. It's what you would expect. All right, so let's let's take a look at our canteen here. Now our prisoners are getting their only meal of the day. Low quantity, low variety, shitty, shitty stuff. And um, as you can see, the danger level is still low, but it's starting to increase. But if we go over at our needs, uh, you can see food is getting in the get in the little the red a little bit. And um, you know that's that's the, that's the issue because they're not going to get fed again for another 24 hours. So all these other red bars are reasonably going to go expected to go down soon um, but the other ones aren't the uh, food one is not what is this teacher doing over here that's uh, it's a little odd go to your classroom one thing I think I'm gonna ask you more of is phone booths because they looked like they were getting a little pissed off about the lack of family contact so that should help them out in that regard. And how many prisoners are you getting? Oh my god, I didn't even notice. We're getting 17 prisoners tomorrow. So that means we're going to have to, let's see. We have capacity for what? Another 13 right now? So we're going to have to build some more cells. So let's get out the old clone tool. There we go, very nice. So that's four more. That'll give us enough capacity for the next day. So that should be fine. We need to put in some pipes. Oh, that's very convenient. The pipe's already there. I bet I planned that out earlier, didn't I? Yes, very clever. All right, so we should be good on prisoner capacity once that that's built. I am curious why these guys are in the holding cell. Is there um? Oh yeah, medium security only. I should probably get rid of that. No, don't. 
Don't do that. Okay. Yeah, that's probably why they're in the holding cell. Because technically, since I have medium security only in that list in that uh, part of the prison, there probably wasn't enough cells for the high sec guys, which we have quite a few of. That also makes me think we might want to consider embarking on a higher security area of the prison. Which... Where could that be? You know, my initial thought was that the high security area should be in this sort of middle area. Could be. Could be. Um... Another possibility is to think about converting this wing to high security. Reason why I think that might be a good idea is because of the lake, which effectively acts as sort of an extra barrier. And so if we had extra walls on these side on the on this side and over by the road, then uh you know, that would make for a fairly secure section of the prison. Might be a little bit concerned about guys digging all the way over here eventually, but I think generally speaking, as long as we do shakedowns on a fairly regular basis, we should be able to detect any sort of escape attempt by tunnel. So, yeah, I think I'm going to try and make this my high security area. And do that, I want to make a few retrofits here. Hmm. The staff door is fine, actually, if I can just demolish this wall. So we got fencing already here and here. And I think, I think really the only thing I want, well, something I'm going to want to do in the moderately near future is put in CCTV um, around this area. Once we're done with the inmate nutrition research, that sounds like a very good idea. However, there's a grant for that, so I'm not going to pursue that until we get the nutrition research completed. In the meantime, probably I'm just going to look at these patrols, make sure that they are solid. It looks like they are. So, there's probably not too much to worry about if we make that a maximum security area. One thing I think I might do... No, it's probably not a big deal. I was thinking about putting a fence, extra fence in here, but... Really, I think, I think this is about as good of a maximum security area as we can possibly expect in this prison right now. So... Let's go ahead and get that. Get that marked. Max security only. So what is that? 16 cells? We got 16 cells there. We have nine maximum security prisoners. So yeah, that should work out pretty well. It does mean we're going to have to put more prisoner capacity up here uh, in order to handle all the medium security guys. So once again, let's break out that clone tool. All right, excellent. Should have that ready to go pretty quickly. Oh, this guy, look at this guy. He is not happy. John Mitchell, he's having a pissed off time right now. I bet a lot of prisoners are having a pretty bad time right now. Oh, yes. <laughs> so this is what happens when you do the inmate nutrition research. They get really mad. And as you can see, the danger level in prison is now medium and increasing. I fully expect it to go to high. Mm. But there's not a whole lot to do about that. We just need to... Um, 
Maybe we should hire a few more guards. Just to try and keep things under control here. And um, one area where the fights like to break out when you have a situation like this is the canteen itself. So I think maybe I'll put a guy patrolling the canteen. Uh, and that way we'll always have eyes on that area. Uh, I've, uh, I've had situations where guards looked away from the canteen and they come back and, you know, five people are, are bloody on the floor. And that just will not do. All right, here come our new prisoners. We've got some more maximum security guys. So that puts our uh, that's our maximum security uh, number to 17, which is a little bit beyond our current capacity. Oh, shit. See, this is what I'm talking about. Hardly even got off the boat. And they're already fighting each other. Anyway, so what should we do about the um, high security situation? So th I think what we should do is probably, hmm, this might, we could probably turn this into this area into a high security expansion. Let's do some planning and see how that works out. One, two, three. <laughs> oh my god. This is beat him up and just like leave him. Like, yeah, you're not going anywhere now. All right. One, two, three. Hmm. No, that's not going to be the most efficient. One, two. One, two. Could do like that. 